solar. This week we're going to be installing our own solar panels all by ourselves. So we're getting ready to head into the marina where we're going to be staying a couple of nights to do all of our installations on our own. But before we do that, we got to do some work on the boat. Matt and I are going to dive underneath and scrub the props and the shaft and put new zinc anodes on them. So we had really good timing on our solar panels yesterday. Right when we finished laundry, they came in. So they've been sitting on the dock, although we got rained on this morning and well, they're fine because they're gonna get rained on in the future anyways. So they're a little wet out there, but it's fine. Our plan today is just to get the frame up um, and make sure that is all good and sturdy because we expect more rain and wind tonight and tomorrow. And then tomorrow we'll be able to put the new solar panels on and screw them in and hopefully be able to wire them in. If not, we'll do that out in the mooring ball, but our main goal for the being out here in the marina was just to get the, the solar panels um, installed, but not wired yet. It's a perfect day to be doing stuff outside because it is cloudy. So we got the bimini down, so you can see. And next we're going to be putting the blocks in and trying to do a test of our theory that we're gonna be putting our solar panels in. Kind of double checked our measurements sideways versus long ways and i really liked it turning it long ways making things more permanent We had one trial and error where we bought um, some L brackets that were too short. So then we went to Ace Hardware and got some longer ones. So we had a lot of trial and error trying to figure out what the best method is and then how to make sure that gets all secured and that way our solar panels don't fly away when it's windy. Got this block. It's going to create the space I need to put this on to get us over that ridge because that ridge is about three to four inches higher than it is at the low point. So here's the problem. We have two different angles here, and neither one of them is flush. In order to center the panels, it kind of the seam, this piece right here, needs to kind of be about halfway onto this panel and hanging over on this panel about halfway. So it's like, what do you do with that? So I'm going to put this block on. So this isn't level, but I'll probably just shim that after the fact. We're going to kind of get that level-ish. Okay, I'm going to scribe this. Yep, scribe that. And I want to straddle it about halfway, so do that. And with those two marks, I can kind of connect everything. So I know that this will come down. I know that this will come over. I know that this will basically go to the corner here and cut this out. Yeah? Yeah. It'll work. It's been raining on and off and we have quite a bit of rain outside. This is our workbench here. When it rains, we try to continue our work inside. And air conditioning. The moment of truth. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, this one fits nice. The layout. And another important mark. We're going to put 
Club Records. We got our frame cut out. Now we're just fitting the frame to the solar panels. We're pre-drilling some holes as well in the frame. That way we can get one solar panel up and it will hold it secure and then we can get the other one up. Fingers crossed it goes smooth. Time to put up the last panel. So we got both panels up. What? <laughs> okay. I wear gloves sometimes. See my fingers. Is it the same hand too? Yeah, the last time I did it, I broke the drill bit and put the broken drill bit into this knuckle and really drove it in. That didn't touch my skin, it just grabbed the glove. Life's hard, man. Life's hard. It was on the same hand too. He's gonna lose his fingers. Oh. Time to relax today. Nice and bad. Put the heating pad. We're gonna start dance on TikTok. <laughs> he deserves some rest. So day three of the solar install. It's time to get up here and tighten some hardware, put some bracing underneath, work on the wiring, and then Pretty soon we're gonna drill a hole in the boat. But it's done. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't lose anything. It's day four of our solar install. We have the panels in place. They're braced up. They need a little bit more bracing, but uh, still waiting on some hardware to be delivered. So today we're going to get the charge controller in. When the solar panels collect the energy from the sun, they can't just be wired directly to the battery. They need something smart that um, kind of controls how the charge is put into the battery. And that's what this is, charge controller. So the panel goes into this and then this goes into the battery and helps us charge it. Let's see what we got here. Um, instructions. Hi again. Don't need those. Um, <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. Those Mac Daddy thing. Uh, ooh, stickers. Alright. So check it out. So underneath my chart table here, we have our charge controller for when we have shore power and we have generator. These things actually create a lot of heat, so um, this will need six inches. So what's gonna happen is 
This needs to vent hot air and suck cold air in to say blah, blah, blah. Cool. So, the instructions said it needs six inches above, six inches below for ventilation. I think we're going to go right here. And then we have four batteries here, two batteries here. So from there, we're going to run over wires and get the battery on. Uh, we're still waiting on a couple parts to finish everything up. So what we're going to do today is we're going to get the charge controller on. We're going to wire from the charge controller to the battery. And then we're going to temporarily wire the solar panels in just so we can be collecting electricity while we wait on our final parts to arrive. So it's going to be a crude rig up, but we'll top off our batteries while we're sitting here. So we have the solar panels up. We're about to put the charge controller on. This is the wire that connects the solar panels to the charge controller. We have two solar panels, so we have to connect them into this and get it down to one wire. So that's what I'm doing right now. This is gonna come from one panel. This comes from the other panel. And I have to put these connectors on so I can connect them each to this. Right, and once they're connected to that, then I can connect it to the main wire when that all is together, I can take this to the batteries in the charge controller. Okay, so this is the T. These are the fittings that need to go on. Take it apart here. It's, it's waterproof. And this clicks into place into this. You can see there's little teeth. That's what holds it into the plastic clip. secure. Okay, so I'm going to take this apart. The nut goes on first. Then like the bushing and the this is what keeps it waterproof. That cinches down and it's watertight. This goes on here. Should click. Click. Push it like this. See that locks in with teeth. That's nice. And then that will serve as a compression fitting, so as this tightens up, it compresses on that rubber, causing a seal. So that's one. Let's do another one. And this is female, but the stud is actually male, and it goes inside. Yeah, this is the male fitting, but that's got the female part of the metal. And then this clicks on it, so it's like in, in, in. Cool. Now that clicks into that. That clips into that. And then this clips into the solar panel. Then we clip into that. Then that goes to the battery. Well, that goes to that. <laughs> then that, you have a small wire that goes to that. What could go wrong? You good to go to dead ship? 
Yeah, I did too. Well, then the next part we have trouble with is figuring out how the batteries are wired so we can yeah. pick where to put our positive energy. Right. That's, I mean, that's the ultimate. Right? That's yeah. The, so we know that the bus bar that we're looking at on the left side. Yeah. It's plugged in. It's alive. It wasn't as straightforward as we'd hoped, but we did figure it out and everything's working great. Check it out. It's slowly been going up. So as long as we have the sun, we're good to go. Matt did a fantastic job at getting the two panels connected and then wiring them down. We are waiting for some parts from Amazon, but we wanted to get the wiring going so we can at least get our batteries powered without having to run to the generator and use up some fuel. So, so for now, this will just run through our hatch until we can get some connectors or some parts from Amazon. That way we can drill holes in the boat and have it run through appropriately. Bop, bop, bop. It just runs down here and to our charge controller. And then from that, it runs into the wall and connects to our house batteries. A big thank you to my dad who walked us through on how to connect them. Thank you everybody for watching Sailing by Felicia. We wanted to give a huge thank you to all our Patreons out there who've been supporting us so far. If you also like to support our channel, please like or comment below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Till next time.